Welcome back to our jam packed North Dakota today that we have uh, this Friday. Best it's show ever. Fun day Friday. Our next guests here, they're daughters of North Dakota, but they're so much more than that. Olympians, Olympic medal winners, silver medals, a gold medal. You can't get any better no. than that. Yeah, they are at the top of their game, and now they can add authors to that list. Jocelyn Lamaru Davidson and Monique Lamaru Mirando, better known as the Lamaru Twins, are with us today to talk about their new book, their foundation, and what's to come with their careers. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having us. Well, we're very excited. You've had a busy week because uh, everybody's wanting to talk to you. I watched your Today Show uh, interview as well, and uh, we did get an advanced copy. So today we are talking about Dare to Make History, uh, your new book. It kind of, uh, you guys are young, but you have accomplished so much uh, already. Let's talk a little bit about what inspired Dare to Make History. Well, we were really encouraged by a couple of friends and mentors that uh, a book would be interesting to write, and we, we had a story, and I think what really drove us to write write it in the in the you know in the, our final decision making process was that we felt our team story was really important to share, and we obviously talk about our individual paths together to get to where we were with the Olympics, but it was really our team story and the negotiations we went through in 2017 that are continuing today that we really felt was important to share because there's so many lessons that we learned and experienced through that moment and and then throughout our careers just the lessons we learned in sport and hockey and playing on a team um, we we hope that there's a lot of takeaways not just for girl hockey players but for girls and boys and parents uh, we think the books kind of for everyone and one of the lessons that you, you two have had to learn is that you have to fight hard, that the world doesn't always play fair, and that's especially true in the sports world. Now, you have a fight for gender equality when it comes to sports, and that's something you always talk about, but what's something else that can be done to make the playing field more equal for talented female athletes? Well, I think for us is we just we refuse to take the stance of just be grateful you have a team or just be grateful you have an opportunity to play. And I think we took that we that's just ingrained in us because of how our parents were with us when growing up. We have four older brothers, as a lot of people know, but our parents gave us all the same opportunities that our brothers did. And if we wanted to play a sport that didn't necessarily offer us a team to play on with girls, our parents would sign us up on the boys team. And I think taking that stance of, okay, we, we might not have the opportunity, but we can find a different avenue to, to find that opportunity. And I think taking that stance and, and really truly believing that, I think is why we've been so successful, not just on the ice, but off the ice. We need more parents like yours in the world. That's a, that's a wonderful <laughs> message to be it sending really to is. all the children. I really love how different your parents are as well. From reading in the, the book, you know, they have very different styles of cheering you on. How would you describe their different styles and how that's really helped you to both become who you are today? Well, our dad was basically our coach growing up and in a lot of different sports, he was trying, like he didn't play soccer, but he helped coach in soccer. And um, he was very, uh, he was the one that was offering the constructive criticism after X's games. And O's. Uh, yeah, X's and O's really taught us the game at a fundamental level. And our mom was a swimmer and a marathon runner after she had kids and didn't, I'm not entirely sure she knows what offsides or icing is yet, even to this day, and she's probably watched thousands of hockey games. But she was just our biggest cheerleader, and she would put strong female athletes in front of us. Uh, we never watched Jackie Joyner Kersey compete. We were too young to remember, but we remember getting her book when we were younger, and she was one of our, our idols growing up, and we watched the 99 World Cup team, the, 90, the 98 Olympic gold medal women's hockey team, Team. And so our mom always just made sure that we saw examples of women doing great things in the athletic setting. And so the, the balance of our mom and dad was really, um, it was just a really good balance growing up of being inspired, but then also being pushed in a, in a fundamental sport way to be better athletes. And so what are you hoping that people uh, get out of this book when they pick it up and, and give it a read? Well, I think there's obviously we, we talk about growing up and the different things that we went through. And I think people will see that our path to success was not always linear. We've gone through different things in our personal and athletic careers uh, that have shaped us to, to who we are today. And I think people want to see the see the 
they don't all want to see just the success. They want to see the different parts of it. And we're, I think we're pretty open and honest about what we've been through throughout our lives. And then obviously we talk about the hockey and the gold medal game and, and our experience with that. But I think at the end uh, we talk about uh, being inspired to make a difference. Being Olympic gold medalist has given us a platform and we want to make positive change and make a positive difference in the world with that. And so we, we started our foundation and we're really digging our teeth into that, especially since COVID has hit, it's allowed us a lot more time to devote to our foundation. So we're really excited about that, but we're hoping people see that they can make a positive difference, big or small, every day in the world. You don't have to be an Olympic gold medalist to be able to do that. And you know what, we have to take a quick break, but when we come back, I do want to talk more about your foundation. And you guys announced that you're going to be retiring from professional hockey, not really taking a break. Uh, in fact, we're going to talk about a baby that's uh, on the way here in probably a few days as well. So don't go anywhere. We're talking with Monique and Jocelyn right after this.